welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. In this week's episode of Art History Minute, I'm going to be showcasing a work that shows one of my favorite historical figures. Hatshepsut was one of the pharaohs of the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt. Unusually, she held power in her own right during the minority of her stepson. So to learn more about her, keep on watching. Hatshepsut came to the throne of Egypt in 1478 BCE as the principal wife of her half-brother, Thutmose II. When he died, she also served as regent for his son, Thutmose III. But because she was the daughter of Thutmose I, she asserted her lineage as ruler. In fact, the majority of the depictions we see of her are as a man, showing herself as a pharaoh and not a queen or chief royal wife. This statue of Hatshepsut is one of only two known to depict her fully as a woman. She is seated and wears all feminine clothing except for the nemes, or cloth headpiece reserved for the pharaoh. The inscription on the statue show her regnal name, Ma'at Kare, but her, her titles still use the feminine forms, Lady of the Two Lands and Bodily Daughter of Re. There are also two goddesses on the back of this sculpture. Using these details, we can assume that the piece was made early in her reign, when Hatshepsut was still consolidating her power. This is because it was later in her reign that she began to wear male clothes and use masculine pronouns. Hatshepsut is a fascinating historical figure because she was able to rule in her own right at a time when women were often barred from positions of power. The statue shows that and holds a special place in the collection of the Metropolitan Museum of Art.